Well, we are joined by Brad from Country 93.3 right now. Hey, Brad. Thanks for being a good sport and joining us. How are you doing? Hey, Mark. I'm good. How are you? Awesome. Okay, so Brad, we want to know, what do you have against the Leafs? Right? Uh, born and raised in Montreal. That'll do it, won't it? Oh, that says it all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's all you need to know. I still have a 514 area code phone number, so. Okay. All right, the so allegiance has run pretty deep. So your prayers were answered, and the Leafs <laughs> They lost. were. Yeah. What do you think about prayer now, I that guess. the Leafs lost? Do you believe lost? in the power of prayer now? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a converted believer. I have no choice. The proof is in the pudding. The Maple Leafs lost in Game 7 in heartbreaking fashion. It wasn't even a close game. It's all I ever really wanted. So thank you so much to the prayer line. I'm so thankful. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, so what can Leafs learn then? Because you were on this call with Noreen. You really had a beef against the fans more than anything. So what can Leaf fans learn from Hab fans? What can we take away from this to be better sports? <laughs> well, the Habs... <laughs> Habs fans aren't very good at this either, uh, but I think the key for Leafs fans to get most of the rest of Canada off their backs is just learning that silence is golden. Sometimes less is more. <laughs> hey, fair <laughs> enough. Um, so reflecting back on your phone call, Brad, what did you hope would happen by calling the prayer lines here on Huntley Street? Well, I was hoping that whoever answered would help me uh, with the prayer to have the Maple Leafs lose. And Noreen was absolutely fantastic. She deserves a raise, number That's one. Great. Noreen is great <laughs> to deal with. She's so funny and so genuine and so kind. Uh, she wasn't very willing to go directly down the path of negativity like I wanted for the Maple Leafs to lose. But uh, we found our way there eventually with just hoping that maybe if the Leafs won, their fans wouldn't be too terribly annoying. So I'm happy with the result. The Maple Leafs lost. Uh, their fans were very quiet, and they've been very quiet ever since. So I'm a happy man. Okay, I want to know also, Brad, how did you find out about our prayer lines? How did you even know this existed? Uh, so it was, uh, it was, I was in the studio talking to um, my co-host one morning, and for whatever reason, it popped through on the TV guide, and it's a 24-hour prayer line, and I clicked it on just to see what was going on, and I saw the phone number, and I banked it in my memory. I looked up your website, and I said, you know what, one day... There will, be come, there will come a situation where I need a prayer and I will call that line on the air and we'll see what happens. And this was it. This well, was it. We well, thank you so much, Brad, for being a good sport and joining us and also calling, which we think is our most important phone number in this building is our Absolutely. prayer lines. Thanks for calling it today on that day, Brad. Thanks again. Take care. Hey, thank you. The prayer line works. I'm a, I'm a firm believer now. There you awesome. go. Awesome. Well, you heard it from Brad <laughs> from 93.3. There you go. Stay with us. We'll be right back.